Yo, what's up, dudes? Here at GitCon in Germany with my best friend forever, <laughs> with my new BFF, <laughs> Colin <laughs> from CS Guitars. Hello, guys. And we're here to check out uh, a few Ibanez guitars and some Hughes and Kepner amps and a little bit of the Two Notes uh, studio. And uh, let's check it out. Yeah. So what do you got there for a guitar? I have got the best premium RG ever. And this is a really nice little piece of wood because if you look at the neck, that's an 11 piece neck. And my sheet on the floor, my cheat sheet on the, oh, I should get it down into the camera frame. Uh, the cheat sheet on the floor says that this is Wenge, Bubinga, Maple and Purple Heart, all 11 laminates. That's going to be totally rigid. That ain't yeah. moving. Right, right. Yeah. Right. And it's got a cool blue bird top as well. Yeah, it's with this poplar. great, uh, is that poplar or is that spalted maple? Yeah, I think it's a poplar on here. Yeah, poplar uh, bird top. Yeah. Oh, okay. And a base with body. Right, right, right. You're, you're sort of classic, yeah. RG body, but with such an interest. Right, in it. and uh, double, single, double? Yeah, Altamazio, I believe. Okay, and um, I think uh, like typical Ibanez, as you move through, you'll get, I think, like uh, humbucker. Uh, split with a single, split single, with a split single, and humbucker. Right, yeah, right. yeah it's, a right. it's the classic Ibanez. Uh, sure, so. you want to play a couple of little notes on it? I'll see, we'll, we'll see what uh, I can do, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that neck, I gotta say, that that is just beautiful. I don't know if you can see that um, beautiful detailing in the top, but the the grain is just very distinctive. Yeah, there's, there's actually quite a lot of texture to it as well. It feels really cool on fingers. Right, right. On the frets, and really well done. Sure. I suppose it's the most premium RG ever. It would have to be. Right, right. Uh, this is the J Custom line. So this is uh, pretty much, I think, the top of their Japanese lineup. Uh, yeah. This is this is the, the the pinnacle of the series, and you can tell. What's interesting is is that we have very similar fret treatments, even though his Indonesian made guitar is a lot less money than this Japanese made guitar. Just looking at the appointments between the two, um, I noticed right away that the fret detail on both were very similar. So it's like you're not going to sacrifice your fret work on the premium series. It's just really the where it's made. But the main difference is going to be. I'm neck through. Oh yeah. Right. So he's he's got a you know a bolt on, a classic which is bolt on. classic bolt on, more of a stratty sound. This is a neck through. This is going to be I don't know probably a slightly warmer sound. But we yeah. there's a whole bunch of debates about that whether yeah. the snappiness comes from the bolt on or how that works. But um, I'm a huge fan of Ibanez. I have been for many years. Oh, same here. Yeah. I think my first proper guitar was an Ibanez. Zytus. Same here. Yeah. Yeah. My first like. Nice guitar. I mean, you had one before that, but it's a no name or just yeah, you know, a little squire. That I yeah, 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 yeah. A Harmony. That's a mm. really low end brand we used to have back in the day. And then finally, I went out and uh, just a quick aside on that. It was um, one of the old lawsuit Ibanez Les Pauls, and I was such oh. a newbie and like so completely out of it. I literally thought Ibanez was the import. Of Gibson. Oh, right. I didn't even realize that <laughs> they had nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to have obviously a maple neck uh, with a rosewood fingerboard, the offset inlays, um, a couple of DiMarzios. Let's see what those are. That's a, an Air Norton uh, in the neck and a tone zone in the bridge. That's a fairly. That matches mine. Just read matching. Same pickups. Same pickups. Okay, so here you go. Now you're getting the same pickups. Right yeah. and uh, yeah, a very similar you know guitar, it's very similar fretwork on both guitars, uh, but you know obviously the difference is going to be the neck through versus the bolt on and where it's built. Yeah. And so clearly these um, Japanese ones they get a lot more money. I have no idea what this goes for, and I don't think they put an MSRP on my sheet. But they've got uh, they've got mine uh, thirteen hundred euros. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Reasonable. Yeah, there's nothing on mine. I guess this might be in the if you have to ask, you can't oh, afford yeah. it category. I, I would say so. <laughs> uh, that's not money. They don't want to tell you that. It's got to be a <laughs> it, <laughs> got the right permission. Yeah. So I'd be yeah. To get that it, information. It's up there. <laughs> but uh, it's um it's a beautiful guitar. As soon as I picked it up, I was really blown away by the quality. Yeah. 
as I should be, you know, for, you know, this, this type of instrument. And I believe one other difference is, oh, I might be wrong. Oh, I think I'm wrong. That's a proper cap. Yes. That's a good thickness on that. I was waiting. I was just about to say, well, I think you have a veneer mm -hmm. and I have a cap. No. No. There's, there's, there's a good five mil plus on there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is really a... <laughs> we're really coming up with a really good argument <laughs> for the premium <laughs> line of instruments right now. Yeah. Between the fretwork, the proper cap, the same pickups. Let's look at bridges. Do we have the same bridge? Um, I think no. yours is different. Yeah, you've probably got the, the up upgraded bridge. Right, right. So that's that's going to be... Oh, let me just get that a little closer on this if you can see it. Yeah. 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 Um, Okay, so so the real the real difference is: Do you want the Japanese made one over the Indonesian made? Yeah. One? Plus, this this may not be a team built, you mm -hmm. know, uh, let alone a production model. I don't know if this um, when they get it to J Custom, if they assign it to a single person, that may be a master built J Custom, and mm -hmm. maybe the rest, just like the custom shop, there's some are really high end, and their single person does the whole yeah. guitar versus a team built. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is, you know, but I'll just say that <laughs> it's an amazingly play. gorgeous guitar and it just plays so nice. And I like that they added the volute on the back. This has been mm -hmm. one, I think, a sore spot for a lot of Ibanez users is that this heel has always been a little thin. And when you when you ran the, you know, the the um, the lock nut uh, bolts through, uh, you know, yeah. the old units uh, all cracked. And I think they uh, they didn't break, but they would crack and you know, we freak out when we see those. Um, so I think they've really changed that up and they've come up with a thicker bed. Even you have Yeah, it. I've got it, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just yeah. seeing that, that's pretty good. So they, it's a design change, you know, meant to meet, you know, what they thought was a, a fundamental flaw in their production. And, mm -hmm. and I agree, it was a, a, a bit of an issue. Yeah. What do we got for amps here? What do, what do we have for amps? What do we have for amps? Uh, uh, I got the Grandmeister Deluxe 40. Yeah. And you have the same thing. Okay, yeah, we both so have... We'll we'll just, we'll do, yeah, yeah let's, let's check it out. I think this is... We'll go through and we'll check out a few channels here. This is the clean channel. Nice and clean and shiny. What? You know? Yep. Uh, you want to try your... I'll try channel, channel, channel B. Yeah, so he. I just did channel A. That's super clean. This is probably more like a push. Yeah, I've not, I'm not set this amp up properly. Right. So it's whatever is, whatever's been set. Whatever, right. Yeah. But so. the, the theory is, as you go from A to B to C to D, it gradually gets more and more yeah. aggressive. with that sound. That's a, that, sound that's a good sound yeah. yeah so that was B here's my C <laughs> sound by that one. <laughs> yeah yes thank you i'll take it <laughs> sold <laughs> this will be the this, this will be the all the game uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's not surprisingly we yeah. have one, one more, more. <laughs> it goes one Anticipated. These amps are amazing. These are really, really good amps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're small. And they're I like small. How compact they and are. they're lightweight. And all the effects you were hearing are built into the amp. Yeah, uh, and they're completely delays, assignable. modulations. There's a boost. Can we do that insane setting with a boost on it? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. It looks like it. And the thing is, is when when we went from C to D, the bass, yeah, the so much more bottom more end more came in, yeah. much more bottom end came. In. There's my regular, and now I'll boost it up. Saying there's a real problem with these amps, I should probably take these home and have them checked out. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, definitely. What he's done to them, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, we'll handle yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. And just um, for the record, we were running through the two notes studio boxes. So we're not going through the cabs right now, we're going through the, the reload box. Uh, no, not the reload, the studio box. I have the reload at home. Okay, I have yeah. the two notes reload, so every time I'm in a video, I'm going, I'm running through my reload box, but we're not. We're here, we have the studio boxes with the built-in cabs, and um, I gotta say, I, this whole week, I have been yeah. really impressed with the, um, you know, with the, the quality of those Torpedo yeah. Studios. Oh yeah, they seem to be doing some crazy good stuff. Oh, I mean, just the sounds that we're getting back and through here, yeah, yeah it's sounding great. Sounding amazing, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right, dudes. Well, there you have it. I really want to thank Colin for uh, joining me on this and helping me out. Thanks for and, having me. Oh, anytime, anytime. And uh, let's see if we can both make it out of here without taking home one of these amps. <laughs> like, just, you distract them. I'll run. <laughs>